And the Lord said, every tree is known from its fruits or by its fruits. Look at the world's fruits. It's telling me evil. So who's behind the world? Satan. Look at the world. They acting so foolishly, so childishly, so devilishly. This guy hates this guy. This guy is plotting against this guy. This guy is after this guy's property, power, fame, position, rank. But look at the Lord. My goodness. How can you not see the Lord Jesus? How can we say when the sun rises and enlightens the world, you say, I can't see the sun? Or I can't see the light of the sun. Impossible. Can you hide the sun? No. How can you not see the light of Christ shining upon you every single moment of your life? How can you not? Because when Satan blinds, and when we follow Satan willingly, and become stubborn about it, we have turned our back to the Son who is Christ Jesus. That's why I'm facing darkness. Like I said last time, the earth rotates around itself. And then when it turns its back to the sun, the earth comes back and says, the sun went down. <laughs> Man, what, you, what kind of sick mind is this? You just gave your back to the sun and you said the sun went down? No, you gave your back to the sun. That's why you're facing darkness. Give your face to the sun. The sun is always there. The sun is always there. We walk away from the Lord and we say the Lord left us. The Lord denied us. The Lord has forsaken us. But I am the one who walked away from him. He never goes. The light is the light. All the light does is shine. Shine my beloved. Um, look at the Lord Jesus, the King of all kings. You see, this woman is saying, I'm King, America. But look at the Lord Jesus when he came. He said, the most important thing to me, I, the Lord Jesus, is humanity. And the least of all, and not even on the list, is money. Do not think what you're going to eat or drink tomorrow. Do not think... What kind of a clothes you're going to put on yourself because I, your Lord, provides everything for you. Seek the kingdom of God and everything will be given unto you abundantly. Look at the Lord, the king of all kings, and look at the kings of the world. The kings of the world, they say the number one thing, the most important thing to us is money. The least is humanity. The king of all kings says, the most important thing to me is you. And the last, and not even in the list, is money. And this is where St. Paul puts it so beautifully. He says, the love of money is the roots of all evil. See, notice this. St. Paul doesn't say money is the roots of all evil. He says the love of money. Money on its own is okay. It's from God. But when you love money, it's the roots of all evil. Why? Because love was meant to be given to God first. Whatever you love, whoever you love, that thing or that person becomes your God. When you put a person before the Lord, that person is your God. When you put money or any possession before the Lord, that thing becomes your God. Because anything you love more than the Lord, then it becomes your God because love was meant to be given to the true divine God first, then to everyone else and to everything else. The love of money is the roots to all evil. When people love money, they worship it. What is greed? I'm worshiping money. Money becomes my God. Money is just a mean to get you from A to B. Jesus Christ is the only God to take you from earth to heaven, from death to eternal life, from the grave to resurrection, 
from darkness into the light from a slave to the sun this is the king of all kings then in the last group there's two two parts to it there's bodies and souls this woman the UN America is saying the souls of people I will enslave and the bodies of people I will use them to do evil things mm. the souls of people I will enslave but the bodies of people I will use those bodies for them to do evil things so what is the enslavement of the soul of people of men enslaving one of it is child trafficking sound of freedom true story told by an ex-CIA Tim Ballard an eyewitness someone who was there someone who gave his life to go and save some children out there so they are bringing these children some are being killed for Baal for Satan but some are being raised as slaves and I'll leave the rest to you they're using them to make money out of them this is the enslavement of souls God created us to be free the woman wants to enslave these souls which are God's creation and that's why the wrath of God will come upon this woman in this century this one will be gone this I say to you my beloveds in this century the woman will be gone the woman will not last the 21st century and I'm talking about America the UN America will be gone but let me tell you this I don't want to scare you but when America goes the rest of the world will feel the consequences as well because America is not going to go that easily but when the Lord strikes there is no technology there is no military power that can withstand the strike of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because he'll come at you like a thief at a moment where you have never anticipated no radar no laser no spies uh, no telescopes no Hubble's uh, rotate revolving in the at atmosphere nothing will de uh, detect <laughs> maybe a massive earthquake will strike this woman anything can happen the Lord can order any of his creation any of his creation I'll say this my beloveds but let me say the bodies are being used to do evil deeds pornography one of the inventions of this woman who invented this technology America what is in this technology a lot of colors what are these colors fragrances she wants expensive fragrances and not only that technology in general in general in general I say not in a specific sense but in general it is a deterrent it takes you away from God too busy looking through this little screen no time for the Lord no time to pray no time to read the Holy Bible no time to reflect who you are and where you are how close or distant are you from the Lord Jesus too busy Facebook Instagram Twitter TikTok, quick walk Nick knock too busy too busy 
This is washed. 